Well, hello there. It's my pleasure to be back with your TV uh, to provide a most recent update for the city of Belleville as we deal with the COVID-19 uh, virus outbreak. Uh, this is for the week of Monday, July the 27th. And um, while you may be seeing this other parts of the week, uh, this is information for that. We have had a last a spectacular week in our region. The weather has been terrific, um, but also our performance when it comes to um, confirmed cases has also been good. We have not had a new uh, confirmed case in our entire health board region since May the 18th. And uh, yesterday we uh, broke through the 17,000 uh, figure for testing done in our, our community, which is an outstanding number because it is statistically significant and reflects what's going on. Since the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak about four months ago, we've only had 43 tests are confirmed cases in our region and while that is great news it's also important for us to continue to be vigilant to practice social distancing wash your hands and if you have any concerns uh, and you wish to be tested uh, please to get yourself one of those tests um, I want to start off by talking also about the fact that this is now the time of the year where we see the annual redeployment or posting of Canadian Forces personnel uh, to our region. Uh, some of them are coming from other parts of Ontario, other parts of Canada, and even some from outside of the country. And we welcome them. Uh, CFB Trenton is an important part of our community and we're very proud of the men and women that uh, serve our country. Um, and I just want to encourage everyone to not jump to conclusions when they see out-of-town license plates. Um, these are people who are our neighbours, our friends, and most importantly, they serve us. And so we want to say a big welcome to all of them and we want to be neighbourly and I encourage everyone to do so. Um, I also want to talk about uh, a great announcement that happened uh, this week uh, at Belleville City Hall. Uh, MPP Todd Smith joined myself as Mayor of the City of Belleville, the Mayor of Quinty West, Jim Harrison, and the Mayor of Prince Edward County, Steve Ferguson. And he had what's called a red funding announcement, Rural Economic Development. And in the case of uh, Belleville, uh, we received about $30,000 to help pay for our free Wi-Fi service that will be in downtown Belleville. Uh, this is going to allow uh, people who want to come and spend time uh, in, in downtown to be able to use uh, f Wi-Fi for free, but also it's going to allow us to have an analytics feature so we can track and find out where people are coming from, where they're spending their time, so that we can better tailor uh, our uh, offerings to what they want and what they need. Um, the overall uh, impact for the region was about $60,000, so thank you very much to MPP Todd Smith and to uh, the provincial government for investing in Belleville again, and and, uh, and we're, we're grateful for it. This has been the second full week of, of stage three uh, in our community where uh, relaxation of the regulations and the restrictions that we found over the last four months continues to happen. Uh, our downtown district is literally popping where there are more people out and about having a good time enjoying the safe outdoor activities. But also our pop-up shops, uh, the food and, and dessert and, and waterfront and, and sales vendors there are uh, featuring their, their, uh, their crafts and their products at West Wicks. Um, and we also are seeing our marina and our waterfront uh, coming, coming alive. And it's a very exciting and it's nice to see that I encourage everyone to support our businesses, particularly those that have been impacted by the, uh, the shutdown earlier this spring of uh, the, the COVID-19 uh, virus outbreak. Um, and thank all of the people who stayed open, essential workers, first responders, healthcare personnel, uh, we have all got through this together and it's been fantastic. A couple of good news items I just want to finish off uh, with today. Uh, first of all, um, this week, uh, the provincial government made an announcement that uh, after a number of weeks of negotiating with the federal uh, government that there has now been a national restart program that has come out with uh, funding, about $19 billion nationally. Uh, that equates to about $4 billion here in Ontario. And yesterday, Premier Ford and the Minister of Municipal Affairs, Steve Clark, made an announcement about how that money will be uh, um, distributed to municipalities. We certainly are looking forward to getting more of those details, um, but it's good that they recognize that the financial burden that COVID has put on all of us, including the City of Belleville and that we will get some relief. And the last thing I want to talk about today is uh, a very exciting event that I was at this week, uh, the opening of the Indra Grocery Store here in downtown Belleville on Front Street. And uh, you can see the pictures here of the, uh, of, the, of the store. This is an Indian or an Asian cuisine grocery store where you can go in and pick up 
all kinds of specialty products. If you like spicy food, they have extremely spicy food. If you like uh, food that's not so spicy, they have something for you as well. And it's a great place to go in and to see the things from different parts of the world, but also to meet these wonderful people that are now uh, running uh, this business. And we welcome them to Belleville. We welcome them to downtown Belleville. We wish them lots of success and prosperity, and uh, I encourage you to visit them, as well as all of the other shop owners in downtown Belleville and all the different parts of the city. With that, uh, you know, we're going to continue to see some warm weather over the next little while, and I'll remind residents that if you don't have air conditioning, the city operates a cooling center at the Quinty Sports and Wellness Center that is on Canafton Road. Uh, you can get there by transit, and of course, for the month of August, we'll continue to have free transit. Uh, but it's an operation from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can go in there, you can uh, cool down. Uh, we don't want to let uh, people get their core temperatures too high. Uh, there'll be some water and uh, some activities for you. I encourage you to go and uh, use that facility, particularly if you don't have air conditioning over the next few weeks when it's going to continue to be a hot, hot summer. Um, with that, uh, again, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Uh, my information is available on the City of Belleville website, as well as that of all of our City Council, uh, where you can contact us. Um, thank you again to Your TV for this wonderful opportunity to communicate with you. Um, I look forward to uh, having a chance again next week to give you another update. But in the meantime, I encourage everyone to be safe, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and please respect the rules about wearing masks when you're indoors in commercial establishments. Thank you.